All right, so there's obviously three things that you need to, to create train a dog. Number one thing, you need a dog, right? Kind of obvious. Number two thing, you need a crate. Number three thing, you need a Kong filled with something yummy and capped off with even something yummier, right? Really super easy. Unfortunately, I can't show you all the different style crates because I loaned them all out to some friends during the hurricane so that they could keep their dogs safe. But what I have for you right now is what I really like the most. Now, this is not a crate that you want a crate train in because it's very easily chewed um, and ripped if the dog really wanted to get out. So this is something that you would transition to after you crate train the dog. This is a really nice canvas crate. The thing I like about these is when I travel, it collapses up, boom, right here into a really simple case. Very, very light, very easy to maneuver and move around, right? Okay, so crate selection is very, very important just as important as dog selection. If you have a dog that's a Houdini and likes to escape, you may want to invest in a little sturdier of a crate. Um, I really like the airline crates. They're very encapsulated. They're already like a cave, because remember at the heart of it, your dog is a den animal. It wants to find that nice, safe, secluded area. So remember, these crates are great, great for travel, not great for training them in. Okay, um, your great ones for training. I really prefer the airline crates. The wire crates, yes, they're an inexpensive option. However, if you have a chewer, they can pull and they can pull on those wires and it can poke them, poke in their eye. It can injure your dog. Um, airline crates, pretty inexpensive at some of the area supermarkets. So, or not supermarkets, but some of your big chain stores. Uh, these crates right here actually will be available at FloridaCanineUnleashed.com. You'll be able to buy them and they'll ship right to your house. So let me show you how to get your dog in the crate. You got your Kong, you pull it out of the freezer. It's got lots of yummy treats in it. It's got some peanut butter. Yeah, I'd almost, I'd probably eat the peanut butter. Really super easy. Tell your dog, hey, go your crate. He goes in his crate, he gets something yummy. He gets closed in. Now he's got something to entertain himself for hours. And as a dog eats, it is actually very soothing to them. And by layering that dog treat, the dog has to think. And if you're like me, the second I walk into a classroom, I'm falling asleep because I gotta think, right? So same thing with our dogs. Mental stimulation gets them just as tired sometimes as physical stimulation. So now we're taking something the dog really likes to do, eat, and putting them into a place that we're hoping to make this a very comfortable, soothing place for the dog to go. All right, so let's start getting those dogs crate trained and ready to evacuate in case we get another hurricane or in case you just wanna travel with your dog. This makes it super, super easy and simple to travel with your dog. And it gives your dog someplace super comfortable that you can take anywhere with them so that the dog stays relaxed and we keep those anxiety levels down. All right guys, so get out there and have fun with your dogs. Make sure you follow our page, Florida Canine Unleashed, the YouTube channel, Florida Canine Unleashed, and of course, Instagram. Um, if you have questions, hit me up in the comments below. This is just one method, one very simple method. There are, very, there are a lot of other ways that you can do this, but I really like this way. Um, but if you have questions, hit me up. Let me know. Come out to Port Orange Family Day. Say hi to the crew. See you guys later. Remember those three Fs of training, fun, frequent, and fast. If you're not having fun, find a different way.